Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with No Need Chipotle Bread. What the heck, you can just call this No Need Italian Bread. By the way, I have a cold, so I'm not trying to sound extra sexy, but uh, I can't help it. Hey, how you doing? Anyway, let's get started. I have a large bowl, and I'm going to put in four cups of flour, which is going to be three and a half white and a half a cup of wheat. You can use all white, by the way. I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two cups of warm water, and we're going to give that a stir. So this is your basic no-knead system. All right, it's going to look really sticky. Then it's going to look too dry, and you're going to get all nervous. Then it's going to come together perfectly, and you're going to have a nice, very, very sticky dough. It's going to look like that. Okay? Now you're going to cover that with foil, and we're going to let that rise, and we're going to let that sit for 18, yes, I said 18, for 18 hours. You don't want it too warm of a place because then it will, like, over-rise. So just in room temperature, like 65 degrees, 63 degrees would be perfect. And that's what it looks like after 18 hours. Very bubbly, very soft, beautiful viscosity. That was for Alton Brown. And look at those gluten strands. I mean, so gluten strand defied. Look at that. So I'm just going to punch it down with the spatula and fold it over itself a few times. And we're ready to make bread. I'm going to oil a heavy half sheet pan, very lightly with olive oil. I'm going to sprinkle cornmeal generously. And then we're going to form this loaf. Now here's a little trick here that I've come up with to work with this really sticky dough. Spray your work surface with some water. Lay down some plastic wrap. The water makes it stick and it will not move as you shape this. It will not move. I learned that from Jack Pen. Sprinkle it with flour. Scrape the dough on there. All right, and then flour the top a little bit, and then just somehow, some way, stretching, pulling, whatever you need to do, you want it in a long, flat shape. So you're punching the air bubbles out. See, I'm going to pull it a little bit. And remember, it's on that plastic, so it's going to move pretty easily. All right, and now we're good to go. All right, so just kind of shape it like a chipotle loaf. I'm just calling this chipotle. It's just, it's just bread. Just, you know, sounds cooler. Chipotle sounds better when you have a cold. Hey, how you doing? We're going to bring the plastic over to the edge of the pan and just flip it over. Oop, I meant to do that. Okay, see, it's easy to fix. All right, so we have the classic chipotle shape. By the way, chipotle means carpet slipper. Have you ever seen a carpet slipper in Italy? I'm sure you have. They're not well made. They're, you know, can be irregularly shaped, so don't worry about it. Little flour on top, nice dry flour towel on top of that, and let it rise two hours. And it's going to rise more out than up. All right, see how it's still pretty flat, but it kind of spread out? Totally normal. Because when we put it in our 425 degree oven for 35 minutes, it just exploded up in the air. And it's still pretty flat like a chipotle loaf, but it's beautiful and airy. And check this out. Oh my God. Crisp on the outside, soft, moist, spongy on the inside. The perfect, the perfect bread. Now what I like to do with fresh baked bread, and I don't know if you've ever tried this, but a little thing I came up with, I like to put butter on it, which is really delicious. And so I'm going to have a bite here. By the way, the end of the bread in our family would call it the condotes. I have no idea how that translates. If your family calls the end of the bread condotes, I would love to know what it means. And I hope it's not a swear word. So anyway, that is my no need Italian bread, no need ciabatta. God, it was good. And you could make that. I mean, did you see anything there that you couldn't do? I don't think so. So simple. You need, you know, 18 hours. So if you start that at 3 in the afternoon... It's ready to make like a 9, 10 the next day, uh, which is a nice timing. And there it is. I'm just going to look at it for a while. If you think my voice is sexy, wait do you taste his bread. Hey, how you doing? I hope you give it a try. All the ingredients are on the site, all four of them. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.